Welcome to Hydronir Valkalidas, a game where you can turn lava and snow into gold, smelt precious metals into huge machines and do something crazy like this. Or this. Or even this. Everything to make these faces happier. This is aiming for gaming. And today we're aiming for a lava taming. So, to get to the new island we must use the ship. Hey, it's the king! Why are you pretending that we haven't met? Fine, I'll play your little game. So, what do you want me to do? To take this to dawn rest. Oh, that's a huge crate. Yellow snow doesn't make a good scrap. Good catch. Alright, give me that. Hello, friendly face. Hello, another friendly face. Hello, friendly face with a delivery quest. Friendly faces are the unique feature of this game. Oh, here's our car. Nice. And a huge new map to explore. Let's go, Amazon delivery. Wait, there is a sign over there. Looks like we can choose between shoveling the snow for our neighbors and medium rare cooked pork leg. Oh, but I have to finish my box delivery first. You know, you're stronger than you look. Another box? Am I playing Death Stranding? Let's do it swiftly. Wait a minute. What's that? A bone? You'll make a fine addition to my collection. And there we go. Our first stop, the Glade City. Here, my friend, my last box deliver, and I can finally play a digging simulator game. I'm well chuffed. You serious? Fine, I'll do it one more time as an exception. And I'll take the money, I earned it. And as we are already here anyway, let's do some bone business. Can I call myself a boner guy now? Here, this is for you, now give me my tokens. That's not all? Twelve more? Fine. A store selling stores. That's an amazing idea for business. And you also have the new drills. Nice. These machines do not seem familiar as well. Anyway, we have a box to deliver. And welcome to Burville. Give me that. Here, I brought you the box. Let me play the game. I need you to deliver this. Our next stop is Shattered Outpost. Hope this is the last crate. Yeah, finally! Let's go dig some snow! This is our first place called the Downrest. So, let me quickly introduce you to the game mechanics. We shovel snow and put it into the bucket four times. Then we empty the bucket into the pan and melt it in lava to get precious metals. Rinse repeat. The deeper the snow is, the better the results will be. In other words, deep mining is beneficial for us. But who wants to move if you can do a static job? If you place a snow chunk anywhere and pick it up, there will be another small piece left ready for shoveling. So if we do a simple loop of double shoveling, we can stay in one place and mine or out of nowhere. And then we can visit the city and bring all that to the jeweler and sell our ore for some coins. And with all our money we can now buy blacksmith and jeweler stuff. Ah yes, I've also collected 12 bones, so I think we can consider this museum questline finished as well. Nope. You don't know when to stop, are you? Quickly to the lava mobile. You know what? We cannot do all the mining manually, so it's just about time to invest into automation. The cool drills for cool guys. Surprisingly, the game does not allow us to build drills in the air. But if you make a snow pillow, it's all good. And to let it work, we must put some snow below. Then add a harvester and connect everything with a lava source using pipes. And a small piece of magic in the form of shards and we're done. One pen to collect them all. Behold, the power of automation! You haven't seen this. Meanwhile, we can spend some time cutting our gems to get precious emeralds, rubies and so on. And continue selling our ore for more coins. But we can do better! There we go, the manual sorting machine 2000. Name subject to change. What does it do? It sorts out our stuff into separate pens, like this. That was satisfying. Now we can pick any pen, like this one with hearthstone and get perfectly shaped blocks. The same rule applies to all our ore in pens, we can smelt it into bars. Bars cost more than the ore they are made of, but we can do even better. We can hit our bar, then cut any gem, like this diamond. Place all that on the anvil and combine, resulting in a brand new ring. Nice. Time to go and sell it, as the jeweler will be more than happy to buy the rings we made. Stonks! But you know what? We can do even better! All we need to do is some converse pipes and buy this tier 1 store and… 
Oh, we need to bring the resources to unlock it. Fine, take them, I have plenty. Here we can get more drills, a pickaxe, furnaces and new recipes. Then we should spend some time with our pickaxe and… It took me a while, but let me introduce you to the Ultimate Auto Miner 3000, name subject to change. Ice chunks go inside this machine to power up our conveyor belts, while ore chunks are processed into valuables. Simple as that. However, for some reason my machines cannot generate enough ice, so we must use manual labor from time to time. Anyway, we are starting to make even more money, time to sell all that and unlock new stuff. I found the solution. This drill, when placed above the surface, produces only ice, literally solving all our ice problems. Which means we can safely leave our base and invest in more drills. Which can be done by buying these designs at a tier 1 shop. Meanwhile, let's buy all plots in the game. Wait, how come did I visit the Silent Hill? This ship is supposed to transport us to the separate island, and something tells me that we need to buy a ticket first. Which is bought from the same place we got our tier 1 shop and of course it requires a lot of stuff to be repaired. Fine. We already have everything it demands. Why the box is so small? I can barely fit everything in. Wait, it doesn't count in the stuff above the box? Alright, I have an idea. Time to think logically. If I'm correct, now the hardstone blocks will weigh 170 pounds. Let me try to fit this in… yeah, this should do it. And all previous 10 pound blocks can go inside as well, nice. There we go. Time to finish our ticket office. It's done. And the remaining bars are left here. How convenient. One ticket to the island, please. I have to pay for it? With tokens? Oh, this city is so greedy. Fine, I have several tokens somewhere in my car. There we go. Thanks, I'm well chuffed. While I'm here, let's place the other stars. Oh my Josh, 5400 hearthstone blocks for tier 3? That's insane! At least the jewelry is easy to restore. Very well, now we have a ticket, so this ship will be able to bring us to the new island. Let's go! I hope there is something awesome there. Like this vehicle shop, for example. The only affordable vehicle here is a lava roller. Great, time to return to the main island. All other vehicles require a lot of guild tokens, which we must earn by doing runs for citizens. And to achieve that, we must move on to a brand new, much deeper dig site. But before that, we will print more drills at the volcano. Oh, an elevator for trucks, that's cool. And there we are, that Warren Forge Volcano version. Name subject to change. The rules are simple. We put the design on the pedestal, we throw bars into the crucible, then we turn the lever and ta-da! The new drill is ours. I have collected enough materials to repair that tier 2 store, where everything costs guild tokens. Oh my. I guess we have to set up our new base and start turning them. Give me a sec. Oh, hey there! Let me introduce you to my new dig site. All the drills are placed at the bottom of tier 1 snow, where all chunks get processed and the final ore goes up where we sort it into crucibles. And our next goal is to earn tokens with all that production power. So, this should be enough for tier 2 drills and harvesters. Which means we can repeat a well-known process of smelting our bars into machines and… It's a bit bigger than I expected. I can't even pick it up. We need heavy machinery here. And more, way more tokens. Well, 
you might ask. Andrew, why have you spent so many tokens on the lava flaming machine? Because I can save a lot of time mining the deepest part of the dig site. Like this. Alright, I must admit this is not as fast as I thought it will be, so I guess we'll do it an old school way. I think I could use a couple of these things instead, right? <laughs> yeah, this should do it. I hope this is a more conventional, I mean convenient way to dig. Now we are talking, a mind-blowing technique. Oh wait, so this amount of bombs was not enough? I got it. I meant, who will be against two unnoticeable explosions? Did I say two? I meant three. Did I say three? I meant... Well, well, what a great view do we have here! And it's so much easier to lift heavy drills now! Amazing! All that remains is a bit more drills, right? Oh, hi again! I've just finished my setup. At some point I decided that 10 heavy drills will not be enough, so I added another layer. And another. And at this point it seemed to be almost finished. Why almost? Because even with all those raw materials the setup was not satisfying. Who needs all those ores if you just smelt them into small bars? So instead I decided to store them as is, where both the new and the old chunks have a chance to repeat their route or stay where they belong. A fascinating picture. Oh wait, a finishing touch. Perfect. For some reason in this state the game freezes and shuts down every time I move, so let's stay static and enjoy the view, there is nothing more we can do anymore. I hope you have achieved what you were aiming for today. For more crazy stuff, check out these Terraria videos, where I break every single mechanic to cause real mayhem, or simply visit my channel and consider subscribing, it's that easy. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.